Just some more NHL 16. Be a GM with our Fantasy Draft Washington Capitals here in Season 3. We just finished the trade deadline and we are heading to the end of the season here. So, without further ado, let's hope for some more wins. Ooh, another... Oh, we're on a three-game skid here. Huh, not a, not a good way to start. Not, not what I was looking for. Definitely, definitely not what I was hoping for. That's, uh, ooh, but a shutout win after that, so. And two shutouts, okay. So it looks like we, uh, we bounced back after that little screw up there. Elzato, you can go up. I am running out of depth here. Matt Green, go in. Alrighty. Let's keep her going here. You know what? I'm going to take a quick peek at... Well, morale while I'm here. Is Matt Green not like anyone? He might be a problem. He doesn't seem like anyone on the team. We will... Take a look at this. All right, what was this thing about? Esports ran a poll. Ah, who will be in Super Bowl 50? Apparently New England versus Carolina is 50% of the votes. Uh, I could understand that. I don't think it's true. Yeah, let's take a look here. Who's growing, who's not? 13 for Kylington, that's great. 12 for Zykov. Bertuzzi's growing a little. Hubertot's growing a little. Okay. Suzuki growing quite a bit. Stadnika growing quite a bit as well. I like it. Paquette. Plufel. Damn Pluf. The Plufel. Stadl. There's Tyler Benson. There you go. Our high elite. 80. He's 83 overall. He's going to be coming right into the NHL then. Left wing sniper. He's going to create more problems than he. Chat. Oh, Lord. That's what we need is another young guy ready to play already. Oh, Lord. Um, I'm going to see if I can't sign Damien Riet right away. Uh, unsigned. Nope. Can I sign Damien Riet? Yeah, I can. Good. All right. Yep. Come on up, buddy. Okay, so where does Riot go? Is he old enough to play? Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, all right. You're going down. No, I don't want to send you up to the NHL. I want to send you down to the HL. There you go. Okay, good. Damon Riot now needs to play, so. Let's go ahead and put him out there, so re it, re it, re it. Okay, instead of Frederick Storm, re it's going in. Like I said, he grew up to a 91 elite for me once, so I would love to see that happen again. There you go, you can be a second liner. There, good enough. That's how I want to see it. So why did Ellers become, or Malak become the captain? Oh, because, because, uh, um, Barzal was sent up. That's why. Okay, so Fram, Ellers, you know what, Riot. Because I know you can grow, so let's give him a little bit of, a little bit of faith here. Malak probably should have had the captaincy too. There's no harm in that. But that's all right. Let's just keep on keeping on here. We shall steady the boat while we go. More scouting to do, of course. Two, two, one, nine. Uh, we can do forwards here, I guess. Let's do some Russian forwards. Why not? 
Uh, Tara Vinen's injured. That's not what I want to see. Oh, Barzal. Strom. All right, let's put Barzal up there. Actually, you know what? I think even... Even just putting Brian Bickle up in that one is probably smarter than Barzal. I think that's what we'll do. There, let's do it that way. I like it. Yep, there you go. That'll do. Come on. More wins here. Ooh, shut out against the Coyotes. And lost to LA too? Oh, something's gone off the burner. Huh. Maybe making some of those those uh, veteran trades are hurting us now. Ooh, another loss. We've lost four in a row now. Pouliot's back, though. You know what? That's probably why. We lost Pouliot there. And thanks a lot, guys, for all the follows. We've got 50 followers on Twitch now. That is amazing. Um, now we're just looking to catch up to YouTube, which has... 54, I think. I want to say 54. So we're four behind. That's not bad. We'll, we'll catch up. Yeah, let's do it this way. Yeah. That was weird. Sounded like there was someone outside my door. All right, let's keep on going here. I want... There you go. He's letting me finally leave it. Oh, yeah. Derek Pouliot's back. Helps us win it. All right. One more week here to go into uh, April. Another hard loss. Not too impressed. Oh, but the big win against Carolina, though. Very good. Very, very good. A quick peek at stats to see how we're doing before we end the season. Eichel's on a point per game rate. Very nice to see. Tavares, one point behind him. Hiroudo, tapered off a little bit still. So she's got a 50 point season going. Someone's yelling now outside my door. That's weird. Uh, Tara Vinen, 48. Not bad. Klingberg, 45. Strom's doing really well there on the third line. Or is he second line? No, he was third, and Dalcol was second. Okay. Who's yelling? Okay, well, anyways. They're so loud. And they're not speaking English. What do I do, chat? Chat, what do I do? There's random people outside my door not speaking English. Barzal's got six points in 15 games. That's not bad. Kylington's got none. But, uh, oh well. That's still more than Matt Green. That's funny. Goalies. Eight shutouts for Gibson. Not bad. 2.3 goals against. Decent. All right. Nope. I am quite happy with where that's going. Hey there, Pickle for you. Nice to see ya. We're working our uh, our fantasy draft team right now. Okay, where was I going to do? Oh, yeah, we're in the last month now. Let's, or last two weeks even, not even the last month. So, ooh, another tough loss. Oh, I should see where we are sitting right now in the uh, standings. Ah, goalies, goalies, goalies. Where's there's goalies? Five there, five Russians. 11, 15, 10, okay. We'll do our goalies over here. Big win against Carolina, uh, Carolina and Timo Teravainen is back as well. So we will immediately put him back in. Tarn Bertuzzi's grown four points. That's not bad. Where's Al Strom? I feel like Strom deserves it over Dal Call now. Strom's got more points. He's got 40, 45. He's got... 35, yeah. Yep, Strom earned second line time, so let's give it to him. For now, at least. Big shutout against Philly. And, of course, Dalcol gets injured the second I move him down. All right, well, that would have happened anyways then, I guess. Uh, Dreisaitl can get call up. 
and we will put in Brian Bickle. Good old Big Bick. <laughs> that sounds dirty out loud. We have a 50 win season though, even considering we're on this huge slide right now. And oh, Del Zotto's in here too. We are getting crushed by injuries here right before the playoffs. Ooh, that is the one thing you don't want to see going into the playoffs is injury after injury after injury. Bell calls back already though. Back from that concussion of his. I think he only missed one game. Alrighty. How are we doing for standings? We are leading the division at least. At the very minimum. Oh, and we are... We are... We fell back behind Colorado. That sucks. We've got more losses. That's not bad, though. Because if we've got, what, three more games to go? Oh, they need to lose both. And we need to win all three. That's going to be a tough order. Tough hill to climb there. See, and it's all this. Our last ten, we're on a losing streak in the last ten. That's not how you want to go into the playoffs. Jack's too OP. Jack. Oh, Jack Eichel. Yeah, he's 98 overall right now. He is definitely very good. Moved him over to the right wing to play next to John Tavares. Very smart. Let's see. There we go. Good. Gotta get that morale up too. Alright, let's go take this last week. Last three games of the season. Remember, we didn't make the playoffs the last two years. So the fact that we are first in the division is a complete 180. Ooh, and Huber Doe's injured. Ooh, that's going to hurt us bad. Okay, Barzal, you can come up here. Ooh, that's a bad injury right now going into the uh, playoffs here. Missing our top left winger. Ooh, and we get shut out against Detroit. Ooh, but we shut out New York. All right, so we ended up winning uh, two out of the three, so that's not terrible. And Del Zotto's back, so good. We can uh, throw him in instead of Mike Green, Matt Green. Pretty sure Mike Green is the old uh, Washington capital, not Matt Green. But, uh, hey, let's see. Where are we? Going up against the Islanders... In the first round of the playoffs, we clinched the conference, it looks like. That's what a Z is, right? Conference? Clinch the... Or division, I guess. No, we clinched the conference. Tied Nashville. Yeah, and we couldn't have beaten uh, Colorado anyways. So that's not terrible. We did have a 52-win season, though. That is incredible. If it wasn't for that last little point skid there... That 4, 5, and 1 or whatever we were on, that hurt us. Because we're now 6, 3, and 1, which is much better. Much more respectable. Um, let's do a quick recap here. So, points on the year. That goes to Jack Eichel with 79. Point per game player, not bad. What was he last year, though? 30 goal. Oh, he was a 92 point, so he dropped off bad on us, but his plus minus was way higher. All right, so there's that. Tavares, he probably dropped off. He had a 50 goal season again, though. That's two 50 goal seasons in a row, and he doubled his plus minus this year. Very respectable there. Uh, he just lost out on most of his assists, I guess, uh, without Eichel scoring as many. Hubert O, 64. There's a drop off there, is my guess. Quick peek here. Yeah, he dropped off, but he doubled his plus minus as well. So that's respectable. Uh, TJ Soshi, 55. Teravine with 52. Klingberg had 48. That's a pretty good season. Dylan Strom, 48 on the third line. And then a little bit on the second. Um, who else did well? Barzal, 11 points in 22 games. That's, that's respectable for only... 
quarter of the season. Um, Kylington had zero points. That kind of hurts a little bit. Kind of hurts a little bit. But he was a plus six. So, you know, you want to see those plus. Zykov and Dreisaitl were only negatives. Oh, actually, and there was Clefbaum and Strom. Okay, so we had a couple uh, negatives in there, too. Not not great. Uh, Gibson, nine shutouts. One for Grice. One for Ned Lekovic, who played one game. He's getting the call-up next year. Guaranteed. I promised him that. 39-win season in 60 games played. Not bad. In the whole NHL, let's see. 40 win for Pavlik, Flurry with 49, Gibson and Price at 38. All right, so he was right there in the pack. Very, very good. He, uh, ooh, Carey Price is winning the Vesna though. Look at that. 1.79, definitely. And his save is 9.4.94. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay. Defenseman, let's see who won the Norris most likely. 62 points for Carlson. Most likely he won it. But he's injured now going into the playoffs. That hurts. Klingberg was fifth here. That's respectable. All right. Most assists. Went to Doughty. Most goals. Went to Carlson. And forwards. Points. Went to Tarasenko with 99. Corey Perry with 87, Crosby as well, and then Jack Eichel is down there with 79, and Tavares with 78, so they were up there, just not that high up. Assists go to Reinhardt with 61, wow, all right. And Connor McDavid has 72 points, isn't that the number of points he had last year too? That's funny. Um, and John Tavares with the 50 goal season takes the, uh, the Richard trophy, and uh, Kane was one behind him. Wow. All right. Actually, let's pull up. I uh, want to pull up Jack Eichel because someone last season or last uh, last stream said that he always gets 72 points. It's it's like it's hard set. He can be a 99 overall and always get, yeah, 70 points. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. He was a hard negative too. Wow. But he is 94 overall. So I don't know what's wrong with him. But anyways. There's your season stats, for those of you who wanted to know. We are going up against the Islanders. So let's see what they look like. New York. What do they look like? Voracek with 64 points, okay. TJ, or JT Miller, Kirby Reichel. Not bad for him. Emil Pori had 30, wow, okay. Oh, Bennett, Calvin DeHaan. Ooh, he grew. Oh, shit. I didn't know Calvin DeHaan grew so much. Tyler Myers is down there, too. Victor Rask. All right. Well, there you go. There's them um, and their goalies. Crawford and Talbot. So this is going to be a difficult one, it looks like. Yeah, pretty difficult. Okay. That'll be an interesting series, to say the least. And quickly, progress reports. Who grew, who didn't? Kylington, 13. He's up to an 81. That's good. Zykov is an 83. Not bad. Bertuzzi grew a little bit. Hubert O grew a little bit. Pouliot grew a little bit. And in the minors, it was Suzuki, of course. And then there's Tyler Benson, who's coming up next year. Definitely. He's an 83 overall now. Now the Kovic's an 82, he'll be coming up. And then uh, Ellers as well. All right, that's what our future is looking like next year. It's going to be another one of those years where it's a good problem to have where we have all these young guys looking for roster spots. All right, well, that will do it for this episode. For those of you watching on YouTube, thanks a lot. Take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All those spelled with an L3US. Hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons so you can see when I'm live. Join me in chat. I appreciate when you do. Other than that, stick around because I will be coming back with the first round of the playoffs right after my break. So thanks a lot, and I will see you then. Take care.